all right what is up you guys and of course as always welcome uh today we're gonna go for the nu ladder i make it sound like there was like some kind of revenge of some kind but quite frankly here uh, i haven't done any real laddering on this channel nor have i had intentions to do so since my pc has been acting up uh Finally got a, actually a road to actually figure that out, and we've been able to streaming on the showdown very well. And the, the main idea here is uh, to showcase you know a few fun ideas and concept. We're not going to do so hard laddering because I haven't laddered anything in NU. NU beta we actually went to 1,400 somewhere I believe, and then I stopped laddering basically. I had a lot of fun there, but um, we now are basically just tested this team one game and one luckily for me I guess. But I uh, just want to test the team out. This team is by concept kind of kind of bad. Uh, or not bad, but th this this team works in the early ladder probably not so well in the higher. Um, the concept here is to have two Tailwind supporter and then Pokemon that breaks through. Uh, so we got, of course, Embor here, Choice Bandit, Virion, Adamant with uh, Flare Blade, Super Power, Wild Charge, and Head Smash. Uh, nothing really to it. This Pokemon is my main source of damage when it comes to once Tailwind is in place. So as you can see, we have Whimsicott, you know, the usual set here, Prankster with Moonlight, Ignorant, Neutron, and Tailwind. We got uh, Dragon because it's a very, very interesting Shared Force user. And during actually the... Oh, I see something it's fixed. Um, during the Tailwind, this Pokemon can be very, very interesting because it does pack quite a um, punch. So we have Outrise, Fire Punch, um, Crunch, and Gunshot. Gunshot clearly for the fairies. Um, here we got Clawlista. Uh, this set is, um, I don't know, we're basically, we're trying as we go, but we'll like for boost here basically to ensure a few KOs. And um, this could definitely be changed for a possible Aurora or a Solstice variant, or just I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll test them out as we go. There are better sweepers, such as Slowking, for example, in um, in NU, but they're not as speedy as Clawless. Uh, bear in mind, I said speedy with a base 59. Bear, bear in mind with that. Uh, then we have um, the Happy Hour Malamar, or just a drunk uh, Superpower Psychod knockoff Jolly variant. Maybe without speed, the majority of things after our celebration. This set is primarily to tackle actually the, um, the lowland sand slashes that are piloting around right now because after one of these, you're not able to outspeed them. But if you have Tailwind support and this, yeah, things get rough and fast. A Royal Wheel got nothing on this guy. Uh, then we got Scum or Archaeops, a pretty stellar set here. It's Endeavor, Stealth Rock, Tailwind, Stone Edge, and Focus Sash. So basically, if the lead is with one Illux and stuff like that, things get rough. Uh, so yeah, let's just go for it. Gonna do at least two or three of these. Um, like I said, I won my first game, and depending on what we were facing, we could do really well, or quite frankly, quite awful. Because defensive teams can pivot around this team fairly likely, and since I lack a ground type, uh, Volt Switching is an issue it is facing, so with that in mind, you know, I have adjustment that I've yet to do, but the, the thought process was most certainly there. Um, I, I wish I could pause while these are going on, like when you're searching for the battle. <laughs> there we go. Alright, um, straight off the bat we have Bronze Song, which is always nice. Um, Hitmonchan is a good spinner, so rocks may not be a priority, but we need to deal with Vivillion to some extent. I wonder if Sandslash is uh, his spinner or just a rocker. It's, it makes no sense, though. We have a lot of Pokemon here that doesn't necessarily fit the bill, if you get one my drift here. Um, I'm just going to lead off with Scum anyway. Bronson could be, will be his lead, but at least we can exchange rocks, which somewhere down the line is what I want, so... Let's see. I'm also drinking coffee while doing this. Same as the last day, you know. I, I can't ladder and, and talk about this. You know, you you're taking a long time. You're just gonna go for the the rocks, right? So you're gonna set a timer on you. I'm, I'm being that scum right now. But yeah, I, I like drinking coffee while laddering. I, I like drinking coffee most of the time. I, I like beer more, but coffee is definitely up there. Mmm. Magic bounds. Nice. It still doesn't matter though. I'm still gonna go for rocks. Um, it doesn't possess naturally a threat towards me necessarily, as we still get about rocks up, and he goes for raw, and that works quite nicely. Nicely. Um, he could have metal burst. That's something I have to keep in mind. Um, 
has, I think I'm going to go for Tailwind here. I just want to see magic. Oh, go for Raw. That works. Clawlister's in. He still has his third intact, so we're going to go for that Skull Burn. Um, I wish. There we go. Metal Burst. There we go. Nice. That was kind of to be expected, though. So it's not too bad. Um, we got two turns of Tailwind, I think, so we can just start to uh, to make some holes in this team. Clawlister could possibly be his switch in here, but we also want to hurt him. So, uh, with that, oh, Sandslash comes in, alright. It could probably take a hit, but yeah, it still hurts. Uh, <laughs> there comes the Rapid Spin. I don't know. I don't know what's worth it. I'm definitely taking him down next turn here. Um... I still got a few good hits in me. Um, Alright, so he brings his own claw list. Uh, um, um, well, I should be faster though. Oh, Aqua Jet, nice. Now that's interesting actually, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm not totally against that. Uh, so I'm gonna bring Whimsy card and uh, we could go for... Get rain, I think. All right, he's gonna switch out to Vivlion. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, Vivlion is not faster than us. We can go for a Moonblast here. Uh, oh, right, that's totally KO'd him. That was that was interesting. Um, kind of a weird switch in. To be completely honest, I'm I'm not fully agreeing with that. As uh, so now here comes Flareon, and I think we can go for Tailwind here, sacking him. Uh, let's see, do we see C Celebration? No, in oh, Inferno Overdrive, that's uh, that's the last nail in the coffin, as one say. As, um, how do I want to wrap this up? Do I want to go for this? Do I go for that? One clearly hurts more than the other. Um, I realized I don't have a spinner on my team, that might actually be quite, quite annoying in the long run. Just a drunk is probably over all my better switching because I can actually get myself a bit of the boost. And I want a bit of the boost. Give me the bit of the boost. Um, let's see. So his response, if worst case scenario is was got me burned anyway. How about that? Um That's bad at those, I'm gonna go for a knockoff. No reason of going for anything else. Um Let's see, what was the item? Um, was it banded? No, oh, it wasn't. Oh, I am a, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? This was probably not my best switching, actually, when I think about it. I just go for crunch, finish him off. Um, since my tailwind petered out, petered. All right, uh, we're actually gonna lose this one. I'm, I'm having a hard time believing we will be able to win. Uh, oh, we do outspeed though. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, is whether or not Clawless's uh, ice beam has to kill us? I, I have a hard time thinking anything else. Dark pulls. All right. Don't flinch. Oh, ho! lucky me. Lucky me. That was clearly, clearly straight out of luck. All right. Um, sorry, Sir David. I'll, I'll definitely say that. I think um, I was quite honestly. It was just luck. Um, <laughs> though luck is a skill too. You know, we need one of those. Clearly. Um, that was the first game down. I see a bit of a hiccups there. Like the standard laddering Pokemon are definitely keeping a pressure out of us, and of course Flareon there was a Pokemon did not suspect being so tough to deal with. So that that worked quite nicely for the opponent, if anything. Um, but yeah, as stated, you know, I kind of just want to um, I want to showcase just teams that may or may not be too viable. This team probably worked, like I said, the lower ladder. But there are going to be situations where it doesn't work. And like I said it here, it's going to be against the defensive team to keep up the pressure. This is Trick Room, though. This is Trick Room, though. How do I want to go about this? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll need to get off my rocks no matter what. But this is this is Trick Room. Um, go for the Stealth Rocks. Go for the Scald. Go for the Toxic. You scum. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
That's the thing. Go to Whimsicott, and uh, here comes the Skull. He has to write a series of plays. He gets the burn because Skull is Skull, and now I do believe the Executor is gonna come in. So we go for that U turn. He's not gonna stay in. Executor seems like such a nice switch in. So does Flareon. Both of them make sense to pressure me away. <sighs> Coffee. Goes for Carbink, that's actually worse. Um, Carbink is annoying as all hell. Um, I don't truly have a way of just KOing it, do I? Not necessarily. This is where I realize I don't have any way of actually. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I probably have to do this play. Here comes the Trick Room or Stealth Rocks. Both are intimidating as all hell. Um, this is definitely not too early of a setup. Uh, as it has Moonblast, actually. Um, it gets my special attack up. Yay! Alright. Um, that was interesting. I did not see that one coming necessarily. Um... I should be to it KOing after my boost, and Moonblast should not KO me. Is whether or not he has a priority outside of the bones he's showing. Um, because we break any potential sashes, I'm, I'm pretty sure Silly can take one of these. Uh, with Rampardos comes in instead. Uh, we should be faster on Rampardos. We should definitely be faster on Rampardos. I have no idea what he's trying to do there. Steelix would probably be the switching of choice here. Alright, he forfeited. All right, I, I see you. Um, Steely was the number one player there, so really, really unfortunate for our opponent. I think he started off really good with um, Gastrodon and Toxic Me and then Skull combination with Focus Sash in mind, so that was, that was a bit unfortunate. But that's always going to happen. I mean, you make a tough play and then, you know, it all just backfires completely, and this is definitely one of those situations. So yeah, by the way, if you stay this long, if you have a team that you want me to try out, uh, just really post them on me on Twitter, with Skyrender on Twitter, of course. Uh, I am looking for potential teams to capitalize on. Alright, this is this is not good. This is um, a very, very defensive team with good offensive responses. Me do not approve at all. Um, his lead is going to be definitely that Quillfish. Um, I'd still need my rock subs, it doesn't necessarily matter. Go to Whimsicott first, actually. That's alright. Do I go for an end? And no, I, I want rocks. Right, he switches out, goes to the Quillfish. Uh, I get my rock sub, which is exactly what one wants. Um, now here comes the hazards. Uh, Please don't be toxic spice, that's my only issue right now. There we go, fucker. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it, I said no, but here we go. Um, is whether or not Whimsicott is switching here? Um, I can't over predict this. I think it got way worse actually. Dogpool should not do anything. Um, is whether or not Scald actually does a plethora of taunt on him. So with that in mind, we're still going to go for Scald because we do outspeed him. Uh, get the burn! No, we do not! Of course we don't. Why, why would we? So, right, keeps going for Scald. Uh, I guess it's best switching from here on out is Alteria. Uh, there we go. This one can definitely get burned too. It doesn't get burned, but it could. Um, and this time we go for Ice Beam. We will you down. I mean, you have Pokemon that could outspeed, that, but they don't. So I have no idea what you're trying to do. You either check me or you don't. Like, Whimsicott is your switch in here. I'm sorry to say it, but that's that's where it's at. Chinchino also works. Um, 
I don't have a good switch in here at all. So my best play is actually just to sack this mon, I guess. Or no? I mean, if we get Tailwind here, things get kind of tough for him. Right? We have nothing to really bring in either. Aye, he gotta go. Goes for Rock Blast. Alright. I'm not sure this KOs. Oh, no! King's Rock! King's Rock! You're kidding me! Oh. That was not good. That was not alright. That's terrible. That's awful, really. Alright. Um, I'm not pissed about that at all. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, Slap would definitely kill. That was the only mine idea I had there, but no, no, he, he went for, he, he took the high road there, and quite frankly, it almost worked. Um, Alright, so it brings you in. Is it Bullet Punch? I wonder. Or is it Fake Out, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna bring Rough Man. As we see the Fake Out, alright. So, I guess Fire Punch works here. That's gonna KO. I hope Whimsicott is his switch in so we can go for a gunk shot. Um, definitely feeling I need Earthquake over something else. So, uh, we gotta actually fix that on him. I realized this a few games ago, but I hoped I wouldn't come to it. But the Earthquake, Solve more than Crunch will ever do. Um. Quillfish was his switch in there. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So, outrage it is. Just get the damage done. That was probably a bad play, actually. As I'm just gonna keep going at it. Uh, I need him whittle down no matter what, but the Whimsy card could be his switch in here. I, I kinda love that even at minus one, I'm, I'm still okay. Yeah, go for gunk shot. Hope for a weird play. That was not a weird play, sir. So I needed a weird play, but alright, I'll see you. So now the only thing we need to deal with is his uh, Oma Star, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go for Tailwind here. I assume he'll do the same. Yeah, but we are faster, so we can from here on out spam Moonblasters. Yeah, there we go. You're going down, sir. Goes for U turn. Um, the question is what his switching could be. Uh, Oma Star gets dead by me, and since I'm faster than Oma Star, I wonder. Quillfish could be a switching, but I do believe Giga Rain does take him out. Um, Chinchino is also a switching that might actually work. If Chinchino comes in, I'm kind of need to switch out. And uh, the question is whether or not I should. I really should. But I'm not faster. I'm not faster than the switches I have, so... Aw, oh, damn it. Nope. Damage it is. Ooh, some nice damage too. Um, let's see, double slap. Yeah, that's gonna KO. It's it's probably not gonna KO. Oh, there we go. But the Toxic, I was gonna say, was going to whittle me down eventually, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, so we both have a turn off... Um, yeah, I know exactly what I need to do. This is this is definitely a high risk, but Mars' opinion here is he will be faster no matter what. So it's whether or not I could pull a few punches before going down. Uh, I hate you, toxic. Alright, superpower is my play here, because if he goes for Quillfish, he gets the Intimidate on me, so I will boost it even further. So I do believe a knockoff here will take him out. It, how many turns do I have? I have two turns of damage. Psycho got is overall my best play. Um, only got one good turn in me. Here comes the Oma Star. Oh dear lord, please be sashed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, weak armor also. Uh, and shell smash. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> do, do I even... Oh, I need 
There we go. This is exactly... I, I've been talking about this. Sucker Punch. Bad at Sucker Punch, for crying out loud. Talk about a missed opportunity to do something really cool. Um, actually, no. My, my sash is not broken. <laughs> Though I still can't win. But th that's interesting to know. Please don't miss the stone. Oh, frozen! No! <laughs> oh, holy fucking shit. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that's rough. <laughs> oh my god, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god all right uh, <laughs> so we we'll lose here I, I i don't know whether or not we could have win this one but this that was rough that was a very 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 tough um, <laughs> situation <laughs> Um, I'm not too mad. I'm not too mad at all. I think that was... <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Ooh, right. Um, alright, I think that will finish up the ladder for this um, session. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And like, like you saw there, you know, luck are always a factor in Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. And this is definitely one of those. Well, I... I do believe I missed certain key moves to be able to push this team away. I won't deny the real fact here that, you know... I had opportunity to actually pull this off, and I failed to. Um, is whether or not, and this is definitely going to go both down to if I lose anyway, because um, let's say I survive and go for Stone Edge. Is whether or not his Chinchino or his Whimsicott are faster than me? If they are, I'm pretty sure that um, my Embor would not be able to take both of them if it doesn't outspeed them. So with that in mind, it's real unfortunate that I didn't have Sucker Punch here. That would definitely have saved me the game. But yeah, I hope you guys as always like this letter, and if you do, make sure to tell me that so I can keep doing them, because I do them for you. Uh, anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next letter video. Till then, take care.